we are going to be faith walkers. Notice in the text that there is an alternative or a choice to being a faith walker. And that is simply that we can be the type of folk who walk by our sight or our senses. Now, I don't know about you, but I've already made up my mind which one I am. And I'm determined to stay where I, where I am. And that is being a faith walker. And so based upon 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, the subject for tonight as well as the theme for the upcoming year is faith walkers faith walkers so when it comes to the word govern number one it has to do with what is going to rule or control what are you going to allow to rule or to control you and we know of course when it comes to what we allow to rule us again it is important that we allow the right thing to rule us it's important that we are controlled by the right thing. Number two, it has to do with when something governs a person, it becomes the predominant or the primary influencer. Again, what governs you will be the predominant or the primary influencer. And often this year, if we be honest, a lot of us got ourselves into some trouble by simply allowing the wrong thing to influence us. We, 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 we gave way to the wrong thing and allowed something that had no business being the primary influencer, but we allowed it to take place. And, and that can even be self. We have to be careful even when it comes to our own feelings. Because I don't know about you, I've messed myself up too many times to go back and start making myself the primary influencer when it comes to the choices that I'm going to make. Again, I didn't get many amen, but I said I have messed myself up enough and I have finally learned the lesson that I don't need to just be choosing based upon how I feel. I, I don't need to just be making choices because of what I see. I, I don't need to just choose to do something and the primary influencer is what I'm hearing. Oh God, I'm talking to somebody tonight because this year many of us again, we got ourselves into some trouble just by allowing the wrong thing to be the predominant or the primary influencer and that has to change tonight. But recognize if it has to change, it has to be a change that you're willing to make. It can't be something that a person is going to force you to do because when you get in a situation where you need to make a decision when you get old in life and when you're done playing and when you have a destiny or a place to be then you don't have time to be picking and choosing according to how you feel or what's being said or what you are seeing. come on many of you you miss out on too many blessings because the right thing was not influencing you and so this year we are going to be very careful when it comes to making sure that when it comes to faith that we're going to allow our faith to be the predominant influencer. And then finally when, what, when something governs it is that which holds a person in check. It is something that holds a person in check. Now see, I have to deal with this because it's the times that we live in. Well, again, if, if, if you are a faith walker, folk look at you like something wrong with you. They in the church, but got a problem when you talk by it. Come on, got a problem with you because you standing on the word. All you gave them was the word. They're supposed to be saved, but they fight the word. And see, I admit to you tonight, there is a culture change in the church, but God is not with the change that we see taking place. 
And God said, you got to allow my people to know that faith pleases me. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek. See, this is not only going to be a year where we're going to be faithful. This is going to be a year where we endure whatever God sets before us. We are ready to endure affliction. We are ready to endure trouble. We are ready to endure whatever and whoever tries to block us from getting what God has ordained for 2022. Listen, we ain't going to be like a lot of people getting happy tonight and don't know why they have. Saying what they saying because of Jack Daniel. Grinning from ear to ear because of a blunt. No, I'm happy, but I know why. Because as a faith walker, I am not governed by my senses, but the predominant and the primary influence of why I do what I do is my faith. Faith is it is the basis for our expectations. And so this year will be the year of rewards.